In this video, we'll be taking apart the POCO X6 Pro. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and click on the notification bell so you'll be notified once I upload a new video. And if you need any tools, there are links in the description. Before we start, the SIM tray needs to be removed. There's a red rubber gasket around the SIM tray. Now heat needs to be applied to the back plate using a hairdryer or a heat gun to loosen up the adhesive underneath and then a pry tool can be used to pry the back plate off. Here's a better look at the vegan leather back. The glass camera lens covers can be replaced by applying heat and gently prying them off. So you don't need to take apart the phone to replace those. There are 17 Phillips screws which need to be removed. Looking at the top plastic cover, we can see some antenna flex cables, including the NFC antenna. We can also see this flex cable for the LED flash and backlight sensor. On the other side, we can see an area of graphite film to help transfer heat. The battery cables can now be disconnected, followed by the rest of the cables. The white and black coaxial cable can also be disconnected from the board by just popping them off. Taking a look at the main board, we can see the 64 megapixel primary camera, the 8 megapixel ultra wide, and the 2 megapixel macro lens. The main camera is the only one with OIS or optical image stabilization. The camera connectors can be disconnected by just popping them off. There's a secondary microphone underneath the shield, and there's copper tape on these shields to help transfer heat. Looking at the other side, we can see the infrared or IR blaster on top, and more copper tape on the back shields with some thermal paste to help transfer heat. Once the copper tape has been peeled back, we can see thermal paste on top of the RAM, which is seated on top of the processor. There's also a thermal pad on top of the ROM or storage chip. And here's a better look with the thermal paste and thermal pad removed. There's additional graphite film over the speaker assembly to help transfer heat. And there's a mesh filter over the speaker opening. And here's a look at the speaker itself. There's also an antenna board on the corner of the speaker. To remove the battery, there's a pull pouch provided to help you pry it off.
And here's a look at the 5000 mAh battery. Now that the adhesive pouch has been peeled back, we can see the flex cable for the screen which is routed right to an opening in the mid frame, and this flex cable which connects the main board to the sub board. So if you need to replace the screen, you would have to remove the back plate, the screws on the top plastic cover and the cover itself, disconnect the battery cables, and pry the battery off, giving you access to the screen cable, at which point you disconnect the cable for the screen from the main board, heat up the front of the phone where the screen is to loosen up the adhesive underneath, pry the old screen off, apply new adhesive, Reapply the new screen making sure you run the flex cable back to the opening in the mid frame and reassemble the phone. Once those flex cables have been peeled back, we have a look at the very large vapor chamber which runs underneath the battery as well as the motherboard. Taking a look at the subboard, we can see the primary microphone located underneath the shield and the charger port located next to that with a red rubber gasket around it. The SIM reader is located on the other side. The x-axis linear vibrator motor is located on the bottom right corner and the fingerprint scanner is located here, both of which are held down with some adhesive so if you needed to replace those, you'd have to just apply some heat and gently pry them off. The flex cable for the volume keys and power buttons is located over here. In order to replace that, you just gently peel off the flex cable from the frame, and then you pull out this plastic bracket from inside of the frame. And to remove the physical buttons themselves, you just have to pull them out of the frame. This is the 16 megapixel front facing camera. The proximity board is located here, and the earpiece speaker is located over here. This is also held down with some adhesive, so if you needed to replace that, just apply some heat and pry it off. For the repairability score on this phone, I give it a 7 out of 10. Now it's time to put the phone back together. Once everything's back together, apply new adhesive and reapply the back plate. Flip over the phone, power it on, and you're done. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.